Hello everybody, Courtney here from How to Loom Your Dragon. Today we are going to be making the baby tiger. Okay, so if you check out my channel, you'll see that I have the adult tiger, which is a two loom project. But in this video, we are going to be making the baby. So if you want to see what he looks like, go to the end of the video. Um, this video is dedicated to Teddy Jansen from the Netherlands, who is eight years old. Yay! Teddy, I hope you enjoy this tutorial and I hope you attempt to make this baby tiger and post pictures of it on the Facebook page. Now you can make this tiger in, you could do a white tiger or you could do an orange tiger. I'm going to be doing the orange version. If you are going to make an orange version like me, I'm actually going to be mixing mango bands with the orange like I did on the adult. Okay, so for that I'm going to be using a hundred and about 180 of the mango and 120 of the orange and for the white for the stomach and the paws and the face I'm going to be using about 120 of those uh, black bands for the stripes I'm going to be using about 100 of those and then two blue bands are going to be for the baby tigers eyes because baby tigers have blue eyes okay if you are doing a white tiger you're going to be needing about 400 white bands about a hundred black and two blue. Oh, and you also need one pink band for the nose. Forgot about that. Just one pink band. All right, um, you only need one loom, yay. And you can also make a panther or a baby lion cub out of this design if you want by just changing the color to all black and getting rid of the tufts on the side of the face, the fur tufts. Um, and obviously for a lion you'd do like brown or whatever. Okay, so let's begin here. We are going to start with the head, okay? So we're going to start with the top of the head here. I am, make sure your loom is in offset, and I am taking a black band. I am double looping it, sticking that right there. I am taking, let me just empty my bags out a little bit here. Take a mango band, double loop that. And another mango is going to go on the other side. And then I'm taking a black. So these are all double looped so far. Now I'm going to take an orange here. And let's see, a mango right here. Orange here. I'm going to take a white right here and a white right here. And now I'm going to make my eyes. So I'm going to take a blue band, since it's a baby tiger. I'm going to wrap that around my hook, creating four loops with it on my hook. I'm going to take a black band, doing the same thing. And then I'm going to bring two of the blue loops over onto the other side of the black, just like that. So the back is all crisscrossed, but the front looks nice. Then I'm going to take another double looped white onto the end of my hook and I'm going to pull the eye onto that band. So first the two blue, then the four black, then the other two blue. Just like that. I'm going to lay the ends of the double looped white band on that peg and this peg here. All right, you can kind of twist the eye so that the nice part faces this direction. Let's make our other eye. So again, taking a blue band, wrapping it around our hook four times, taking a black band, doing the same thing, and then taking two of the blue loops, pulling them onto the other side of the black, taking a double looped white band onto your hook, pulling the two blue, then the four black, then the other two blue onto that double looped white band and putting the ends here and here. Oops. Turning your eye so the nice part is facing down or outward. All right, and I'm going to take some mango bands and do my horizontals. So again, I'm double looping and I'm making triangles just like this. And let's do it here too. 
just like that. All right, and then we want to take one more mango and just cap off our end here by wrapping it around the peg, creating four loops. Once I've done that, I can loom this portion of the head. So I'm gonna go down under the capping band, grab the top two bands, loom them over, then grab the next two. You always wanna loom the top bands first, and then the bottom orange bands. And now I can go up the middle, all right, and here I can go up to here, but I'm going to stop here because I want to add my ears on. Let's do the same thing on the other side. All right, we're going to add our ears, which are the same as on the adult tiger. So what we're doing is we are taking a black band onto our hook, creating four loops with it. Then taking a white band, I'm going to create three loops with that. You could do three or four, it really doesn't matter. And you know, I'm going to do four loops. It doesn't matter. All right, taking two of the black loops onto the other side of the white, like so. Then I'm going to take a mango band, an orange band, and a white band onto the end of my hook. And we are going to pull first the two black over, then the four white, then the other two black, just like that. Reclaim the loops on the other side. And we are going to lay this ear right onto this peg, just like that. All right, let's make our other ear. So again, taking a black band, making four loops on our hook, taking the white band, making four loops on the hook, and then bringing two of the black loops onto the other side of the white. Sorry, I'll get it eventually. Cool. And then taking a mango, an orange, and a white. Then pulling over the black, then the white, then the other black. Like so. Reclaiming the ends. and then putting the ends onto this peg here. All right, and once I've done that, I can loom the last set on each side. Okay, I'm going to take three bands of any color. It does not matter what color you use here. I'm just gonna use white. We are going to tie slip knots at the end of each set of pegs here to keep the bands together. Once we've done that, we can pull off very carefully because these are double loops, single bands, and you do not want them to break. Roar! All right, cool. So we've done that. We can put that aside temporarily. All right, whilst we work on the top of the head, or the next portion of the top of the head, I should say. So we are taking two black bands, like that, then a mango and orange, and a mango and orange again, and then a double looped black, like that, okay. Then I'm going to take mango and orange over here, and also on the other side, and again, and then a double looped black here, and also, oh wait, no, I'm sorry, this is a double looped white not a double looped black. Double looped white here and on the other side as well. And now I'm gonna take two white bands, wrapping them around my hook three times. So I've created three loops with them. And now I'm gonna take two white bands onto my hook, 
pulling those that bundle of white onto them, placing them like this. And I'm going to do that again for the other side. So two white bands wrapped three times around your hook. Then two white bands onto your hook. Pull the bundle onto the white bands. Put them right here. I'm going to take a pink band for the nose and cap off my end right here. Wrapping the pink band around the peg creating four loops and then I'm going to take two white bands actually no I'm taking one white band creating four loops on my hook then I'm taking two white bands onto the hook pulling that onto them and this is going to be a tuft of fur coming out of the side of the face right here so I'm gonna lay that on right there and I'm gonna make one for the other side as well so again, wrapping a band around your hook four times, taking two bands onto your hook, pulling those on, and placing them right onto here, turning it so it's facing outward. And now I'm going to take double looped mango bands. Like this. Oh wait, no, this one is not double looped. Sorry, this is two bands, two mango bands across here. And let's do a double looped mango across here, just like that. All right, and these two, I am, I mean, that one I am going to change to double band. So two bands, two bands, double looped single band. Okay, I'm going to go under my capping band and I'm going to loom the top two white bands diagonally. I'm going to go back under, loom the other two bands. And I'm going to loom the double looped black up, as well as the double looped white on this side and on this side. I'm going to take the top of my head, okay? You have your ears popping out on one side. You're going to turn him upside down so the ears are facing the bottom. And you're going to go through not the capping band, sorry. You're going to go through the loops of the orange band right here. So you're just going to stick your hook through. Make sure you go through that orange band like that. And with the head upside down, you're going to attach that right onto this peg here. Okay, just like that. You can turn the head like this. Then you are going to go down and loom the orange and mango here, just like that. I'm going to loom these two up, these two up, and these two up. So I loomed up to these three pegs. We can lift the head. And we are going to attach these three loose ends to these three pegs here. So I'm going to go through the mango bands here. Make sure you go through the loops attaching them onto this peg and then looming go, going all the way down and looming up the orange and mango then we want to go through the center set wrapping those around that peg looming up the two black here don't worry about your tying bands getting in the way because we can take them off later then go through the mango band on this side loom that around that peg and loom up these two just like that. Then I'm going to tie off my ends. This time I'm going to be using pink. It really doesn't matter what color you use, but I like to use different colors each time now. It makes it easier to see which bands to take off. So use a different color than you used before if possible. All right, and then I'm going to take this off. carefully because you do have some double loop bands on here. You can push that forehead up like that. Oh, there's his little head. Okay, cool. He's cute. 
He's adorable. And we, once we do, we've done the once we've done that, we can take off the white tying bands. So you want to leave the pink ones on, or whatever color you just used, but you want to take off the other ones because you don't need them anymore. Okay. So now all we have of the tying bands are the pink. Right, adorable. You can pull those tufts out. And now we are going to be doing the bottom jaw. So for the bottom jaw, we are going to take two black bands here. We are going to take an orange and a mango here, and an orange and a mango on the other side. All right. And then we are going to take two whites at a time here. So two whites here two whites here, two whites here, then we're going to take a double looped white here, two whites here in the middle, another double looped white on this side, and yet another double looped white here in the middle, here, here, and here. Okay, and now we are going to take three bands, three white bands, onto our hook, and we are wrapping them around three times so you have three loops. You're going to take another white band and double loop it onto your hook, pulling that bundle of bands onto that double looped band, placing the ends of the double looped band on these two pegs here. Just like so. All right, now I'm going to take a double looped white band between these two pegs. I'm going to take two white bands there, and I'm going to make some more tufts for the, for the face. So, white band onto hook, wrap around creating four loops, two white bands, pulling that onto them. Reclaim the ends and place. What do I want this? Do, 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 do. I want this. Here. Hold on, let me check my tiger head. Um. Do, do, do. Let's put it right here. And let's do the other one for the other side. So, band wrapped around four times, grabbing two bands. And this goes right onto this side here, pulling that outward. We want to make two more, so I'm making another one. One and there's two. I'm going to take two white bands onto my hook. Pulling both of those tufts onto those two white bands. Placing the ends on this peg and this peg. Spreading the tufts apart and grabbing two of the white bands in the middle, pulling them up over that peg. So there's one tuft on this side and one on that side. Facing downward. Alrighty. Do, 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 do. So, now I'm going to loom up this band here. We didn't put a capping band on this, okay? We we're just grabbing it and looming it up over this tuft of fur on the chin. Then we are looming up this and this. We are going to attach our tongue here. So, I'm going to take a single pink band, wrap it around my hook four times like that, and then two pink bands onto the hook, pulling those that band onto them, reclaim the ends and just sticking that right onto that, like that. And then I can loom up once more, like that. All right. Now on this side, I'm going to loom up twice. So once, twice, and once, and twice. I'm going to take the top of my tiger head. And if you turn it on the side, you'll see you have this white tuft here, and then you have the loops 
right next to it. So I'm going to go through an orange and mango on the bottom and, I'm, and an orange and mango on the top. So these bands I'm going through. And I'm going to wrap them around this peg right here. Once I've done that, I'm going to loom up one time. Just like that. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. So again, you have this white tuft going through the mango and the orange on the edge, on the top and bottom, wrapping those bands right around this peg here, and then looming up once. Roar! Once you've done that, you can attach your three loose ends that are being tied off by the pink bands to these three pegs here. So, I'm going to go through the one on this side. So we have an orange band and a mango band. We've got four loops, wrapping those around that peg. Going down, we want to go all the way down under the tuft, grabbing the orange and mango, looming that up. All right, let's go through the other side. So the orange and mango bands on the other side, make sure you're going through the loops, wrapping those around this peg here, looming these up. And then we have the final end right here, which are the black bands. So go through those loops, attach them right onto that peg, and then loom up. And now I'm going to use yet another color to tie off my ends. I'm going to use blue here. Once I've done that, I can take this off. And hopefully it came out okay, haha. <laughs> no, look how good it with the head. He a little tongue roar. Aw, he's so cute. And then once I've done that, I can take off the pink tying bands, leaving on the blue. And if you attached it correctly, the tiger should not fall apart. All right. Roar! He's got big eyes, which is good, because he's a baby and needs big eyes. All right, so we have our three blue bands tying that. And we can kind of pull the tufts downward, the two at the bottom. So you should have six tufts, two on each side of the face, and then the two on the bottom here. Roar, unless you made a panther or a lion, then you, you can take those off because you don't need those for that animal. All right, so now that we've done that, we are going to be doing, it looks very similar to the adult head, but oh well. We're gonna be doing the legs, all right? Legs are pretty simple. So I'm just going to change my loom to the rectangular configuration. All right, if yours is automatically set in the offset, it's okay. Just follow my lead in the, doing the offset is fine. All right, so I'm taking a mango and an orange. Mango and orange. And then I am taking two black. Actually, just kidding. <laughs> Put this mango and orange on this side. There. Two black here. And we want two black here, and a mango and orange here, and two black here. You know, you can do the stripes however you want, but this is the way I do it, and this is what the band count included. So, just so you know. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to take a double looped mango and stick that right across these two, and then I'm going to take two mangoes and stick them across these three. And now I'm taking two mangoes and an orange. So there's three bands there, right there. And then I'm going to take three black bands, like that. Now we're going to make his little paw, which is very similar to the adult paw. I'm going to take a white band and wrap it around my hook so that there are three loops. I'm going to do that two more times. Okay, so I have my three bands each wrapped around, making three loops. I'm going to take an orange and a mango band onto my hook and pull those bands onto 
the mango and orange band. Then I'm going to move that down on my hook and let go so it's hanging like this. Then I am taking two mangoes and an orange and wrapping them around my hook, creating three loops with them, like that. Then I'm going to take these two loops here and bring them back onto my hook. Then I'm going to take a mango and an orange band onto my hook and pull those two loops, then the bundle, then the other two loops, like that. I'm going to reclaim the end, like so. And these loops I'm going to wrap around the bottom right here, like so. All right, once I've done that, I can loom up. So go under the paw and grab the black bands, loom those up, then grab all three of these bands, loom those up, grabbing these two. Then we want to go up this row. And we want to grab these two diagonal bands. And then we want to go up the rows here. All right, once we've done that, I'm going to take white bands and do my slip knots at the end. And then I can pull this off. All right. So this is one back leg. So what you want to do is you want to make a second one. You can do it the same same exact way I just did it. You don't have to mirror it, okay? You don't have to make it symmetrical. You can do it exactly the same. So you have two, all right? And now we're going to make the front legs, which are even simpler. So I'm grabbing an orange and a mango band here, then two black bands, then orange and mango, orange and mango again, and two black, and then orange and mango, then two mangoes and one orange, and again, and now we need to make another paw. So again, I'm going to take three white bands wrapping each one around my hook to create three loops. Whoops. Roar. And now I'm taking an orange and a mango band, pulling those three loops onto them, moving that down, letting go, then grabbing two mangoes and one orange wrapping it, creating three loops around the hook, reclaiming the other loops, then taking an orange and a mango onto the hook and pulling first these two, then the bundle, then the other two, reclaiming the end and wrapping this around this peg right here. All right, we've got to do our horizontal bands before I forget. So take a mango, double loop it, and take another mango, double loop that, right there. All right, uh, looming up here and here, grabbing these two and looming up this side and looming up this side. All right, now I'm going to tie off my ends. So again, I'm going to just use white here. And pull this off. And here is one front leg, which is thinner than the back legs, okay? So you want to make two of those, all right? So you got two front legs, two back legs, and your guy's head, all right? And what we're going to be doing now is the body. Woo! He's so cute. Oh, I love him. Okay, so we're going to take mango and orange band each time here. 
right? So just follow me. Except when we're doing the stripes. So here we're doing a stripe, so that means we're going to need black. I do. Oh, that's why. Yeah. Sorry. Black and orange and mango. Just like that. Okay. And now we're going to take orange and mango again. Going diagonally like that. And then we're going to take two black. And orange and mango. Orange and mango. Black. Black again. And orange and mango. And again. Whoops. And again. And then two black. and orange and mango. Okay. Now I'm going to take orange and mango again, going diagonally. And again. Okay, then black. three times and black orange and mango orange and mango and again going like this now I'm just going to take two mango bands at a time and lay them across the pegs, making my horizontal bands. Like that, and then I'm just going to take a single one and double loop it and put it here. All right, I'm going to take one of my front legs. So remember, your back legs are thicker than your front legs. So I'll grab your front leg, and we are going to attach it right onto these two pegs here. So I'm going to go through the loose loops here attaching that right onto here and going through the loose loops here and touching that onto here just like that all right then I'm going to take one of my back legs and I'm going to be attaching what is this from oh wait why is this random band here did it fall off from something I don't even know. Anyway, these three we are attaching to these three pegs here. Alright, so I'm going to go through the black loops first. Right here. Then I'm going to go through the middle set. Goes right here. And then the final set is going to go right onto that peg there. Just like that. I'm going to grab your tiger head. <laughs> it's 
so adorable. And we are going to be attaching, you have three loose ends here. You're only going to be attaching two of them right now. Going through the middle set, the black bands, we are attaching those right onto here. Then we are going to go through the set on this side. So go through those loops and attach those right here. So the set on this side is still not attached to anything and we want it that way. All right, once we've done that, I need to lay some loose bands along the edge here. So I'm gonna take my mango bands and lay them on every other peg like this. All right, once I've done that, I'm going to take an orange band and lay them on the other pegs on this side. Alright, I'm not going to lay one here and I'm not going to lay one here because I don't need to. Okay, once I've done that I'm going to loom up this row. So we're looming as if those bands aren't there, the ones we just put on, but you don't want them to fall off. So just continue to loom up this row, making sure those loose bands stay on those pegs. Alright, I'm going to stop here, because we need to loom this one before this one. At least I like to do it that way. Alright, now here, you want to go under these bands and grab the top two, which are the two that are going across. So we want to loom those first, so these two first. And then we can go up this row. You can lift up the leg, make sure it stays attached, and just loom the bands underneath. And then we can loom the diagonals. All right, just like that. And now we can go up this middle row here, so starting all the way down here, looming those up. Okay, here I'm going to, actually, I do want to put a mango band there now that I think about it. So just lift up the top four loops and just stick a mango band there and then replace them. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, I'm going to take a mango and an orange band onto my hook. I'm going to go all the way through this peg, pull these two bands through, reclaim the end and then I'm going to tie them off. So I'm going to take a white band right here, pull it through those two bands, tie this off like that. It's going to make life easier when we, when we do the tail. Once we've done that, we can pull him off. All right. Oh, so there's half of him. And we're going to do the other half now. All right. So cute. He's actually not that tiny, but whatever. Um, first, I'm going to take off the tying bands, so the ones around the legs I can take off. He's cute, though. Maybe he's maybe he's a teenager. <laughs> Just make sure you don't take off the two the the one band way up here. All right especially if it's the same color. But I'm not gonna take off the bands around the head yet. Make sure you don't take off this one. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do the other side of him now. 
Okay. So, because that's only half of him, we got to do the other half. So we're going to do pretty much the same thing. It's just going to be the opposite. So I'm going to take an orange and a mango right here. All right, and I'm going to continue going down. So orange and mango, orange and mango here, then two black, then orange and mango. Orange and mango. Two black. Orange and mango. Two black. Orange and mango. Two black. Orange and mango. All right, so once I've done that, let's go to the next row. So we're gonna take orange mango here, then black, then orange and mango here, and here, then black. Orange and mango. Orange and mango. Orange and mango. And black. And orange and mango. Alright. Orange and mango. And again. Again, then black, orange and mango, and two more times, so here, and here, then the black. Here and here, and then we're going to take an orange and mango and do go across here. All right, we're going to do our horizontals now. So hold on a moment because I've got to grab more mangoes. All right, so we're doing mangoes for our horizontals. So I'm taking two at a time and going across. I'm going to do a double looped mango right here. And yeah, I'm not going to put the loose bands on the edges of this one because we have them on the other side already. Okay, so once we've done that, we are going to take our remaining legs. And this one. So this is the back leg, which has three um, ends. Look at the body you have and make sure you attach the black end to the right end. Actually, that's for me to do. <laughs> you should know, because I'm going to tell you what to do. Okay, so black loops go around this peg here. Then the middle set goes around this peg. End set goes around this peg. And we're going to grab the front leg, and this is going to go, let's see. This is what the front. Okay. Go through this set. Okay. And this is going to go here, and the other set is going to go here, just like that. Alright, so we're going to grab our body, 
and we are going to go through these the loops in the middle same loops we went through before wrapping those around this peg here all right and then we are going to go through the loops of the end that we didn't attach to anything yet so these loops and those we're going to attach right onto this peg here once I've done that I'm going to loom the two horizontals over okay um, I'm going to go up the middle row first so I'm going to go up the middle here just to secure the legs down not that they would come up but all right, and I'm going to stop there, or am I going to go... No, I'm going to go up the next set, too. Like that. Okay. Let's go up this row. these diagonals and then we're going to go up this final row here And then I'm going to tie it off with a white band, or whatever color, doesn't matter, pull it off. Okay, take off all your tying bands except the two at the end where the tail's going to go. So you can take off the ones at the base of the head. Okay, and the ones around the legs. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to stitch him together. So we're going to turn him upside down. And we're going to make sure all these loose bands here are pulled out. Okay. Including this one here, if possible. The one like at the end here, it's kind of sticking out awkwardly. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to stitch him together. So I'm going to go through... Let's go through this... The set of orange and mango bands here. And we're going to pull this mango band through those bands. Then we're going to go through the set right next to it, which is the black, pull the orange band through. Go down to the next one, pull the next band through, all the way to the bottom. So we're just pulling the bands through, being careful to not let them slip back out. So cute! <laughs> And then this final set goes right through here. So you want to make sure you do that pretty accurately because otherwise the stripes aren't going to line up. Alright, so once they're all pulled through, I'm going to grab I'm going to grab this mango band at the bottom, put your fingers through it, then grab the next mango. Fingers through, grab the next, fingers through, grab the next. 
fingers through, grab the next, where are you? There you are. And grab the last one, and then we're gonna go down and whilst grabbing the orange bands. Orange, orange, it's okay if they're a little bit twisted up because this is gonna be underneath and you're not gonna see it, so it's okay. Orange, okay, once I've gone through the last orange band, I'm gonna take my hook, I'm gonna stick it through the upper bands on the body, doesn't really matter which ones. Pull that orange band through. Roar. That didn't work too well, sorry. Just kind of, let's go through these bands here. So just going through random bands in the body, pulling the orange band through them, and then you just want to grab a C-clip and just clip that band. Okay, and that's going to be underneath the stomach when we do the stomach. So now his body is stitched and he's really cute. Now we're going to do his tail and then his stomach is going to be last. Okay. So let's do the tail. Alright, so I'm going to take a mango band, double looping it. And another mango. And let's see, I want to take... Oh wait, sorry. This one, let's do orange here, just so we have a variety. Double looped orange. Then we can take double looped mango. Then a double looped black. And let's do a mango. And a black. And an orange. Just doing a variety here, and a black, and maybe a mango, and maybe an orange here, maybe a black, maybe another black, uh, maybe a mango here, maybe an orange, going like that. Alright, so these are all double looped. Now you're going to take your tiger, and you have your two loose ends at the tail, one's going to go on each of these. So make sure he's, well, he can be facing right side up or upside down, doesn't matter. One end goes through these bands. Alright, once that's through, I'm going to loom them. Then the other end loops go onto this peg here. And we're going to loom up this whole row. Okay, I'm going to stick my hook through the end and I can pull it off. Hee <laughs> hee. Maybe I want my tail to be slightly longer. So I'm just going to take, let's say, three black bands here. Maybe three more here. I want the tip to be a thicker. That's why I'm not doing double loot. And then maybe an orange double looped, and then maybe a, a mango double looped. Or, actually no, let's do, let's do two oranges and a mango, and then two mangoes and an orange. Let's see how that looks. It might look kind of weird, but I feel like this one should be a double looped. Let's, whatever. You can do the end of the tail however you want, it really doesn't matter, I'm just being picky here. All right, let's see how this looks. And then if I tie off with a black at the end, because the end is black. Okay, let's see. So, I think I would rather have double looped bands at the end. So as a designer, I'm going to change my design, which is totally fine. 
And I'm just going to do double loop. So let's say I want like a black and a black, maybe a mango, orange, mango, maybe a black. Maybe another black, and maybe another black. All right. And again, I'm going to stick my hook through the loops and attach that. And let's say I just want to put a black band through this. And pull it. And there is his little tail. Um, that black band, if you want to go into, this might be a little tricky since these are double looped, but if you go like kind of into the tail, you could try pulling it through to hide it. If you want to, I'm gonna try. Eh, or you could just wrap it around the end or something. Or just leave it. <laughs> Whatever you want to do. Okay. So there's the tip of the tail. Now I can take off the two holding bands here. And now we're going to do his little tummy. Okay. So now tigers have chunky bellies. So I'm going to try to make it look a little chunky. So I'm going to change my loom back to the offset. Okay, like this, moving the middle row down slightly. And now I'm going to be using white bands for the most part here. A couple black, but mostly, mostly white. That's so cute. Okay, so let's do two white here. Two white here. One, two, three, four, five. Two white here. Alrighty, I'm going to take two and I'm going to go like this. Let's do the other side, so two diagonally, like that. Two here, two here, then I'm going to take two black here. And two here. And white. And white. 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 I'm going to take two white and I'm going to go diagonally. Oops. So two going diagonally like that, and two going diagonally this way. I'm going to take two more white on each side. And I'm going to take two black on each side. And then white. And white here. And then they're going to meet in the middle down here. All right, I'm going to double loop a white, bringing it across these two. Double looping another white across these two. And another white across these. Another one here. I'm going to take two whites, make a triangle here, and here, and here. And here. Right, let me look at my guy for a second. Yay. Okay, that should be good. He <laughs> still cute. Let's cap off our end here by wrapping a band around this peg, creating four loops. And now I'm going to lay my edge bands on. So, let's see here, I'm going to do 
mango on every other peg. And I'm going to do orange too. So all the remaining pegs. Ah, get on there. It's going to be fun to loom. Oh. I'm going to put two. I'm going to put two mango on this one and two orange on this one. Okay, just like that. And now I'm going to loom, so I'm going to go under the capping band, grabbing the top two bands. Roar, what the world? Okay. Make sure these bands stay on. Grab the next two. Okay, and we're going to loom up this side. Oh boy. Bring the top two here. All right, let's do the other side. Okay, I'm going to go up this side. Let's go up this side. And let's go up the middle. And at the end, I'm just going to grab a mango band, pulling it through, tying it, and just pulling this off. Okay. Once I've pulled it off, I'm going to put my loom to the side, and I'm going to pull off, or pull outward, all the bands. So each side should have an even amount of bands. Okay. You're gonna take your baby tiger, put him upside down, and then this is a little bit tricky. We want to kind of lay the stomach so the skinny end, you have like the end with the single bands, that's going to be at the rear, and the end with the two band rows is going to be under the head, like this. Okay, so we're gonna, this is, we're gonna attach it like this, all right. So, let's see, should we attach it like that? No. All right, we are going to be pulling the bands through the body bands. If you've done stomach attachment with me before, you know exactly what I'm doing. Probably don't even need to watch the rest of the video. All right, so, laying it on. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna kind of just lay this under the chin, and I'm gonna go through top set of bands here and I'm going to pull the orange band through. This is kind of like what we did when tying the body together. We're just adding a stomach. Then you want to do the same thing with the next set of bands. So just going band by band, pulling them, the loose bands through the body. You can start with one side. It's totally fine. I'm just going to do one side, and then I'm going to zip it up. You'll see.
Okay, I'm not going to do this end band, the tied band, quite yet. So I'm going to just grab my orange band, then fingers through, grab the next orange band, so we're not doing the mangoes yet. Whoops. Just grab the orange bands in that row that we did, or on that side. Do -do -do -do. Okay, and I'm just going to hold this with my finger while I do the other side. Okay. Mango bands, make sure they kind of stay through. Alright, so same thing here. Going through the bands, pulling them through the other side. which may be a little tricky because the bands may want to come out. So I'm actually going to start at the end instead of the top by the neck because it's not going to want to... So I'm going to start here instead. Pulling the orange band through. Ah, you stinker! Then I can grab that next band with this orange band. Cool. I'm going to pull that tying band down. Alright, so just continuing. This will make it easier now, hopefully. Um, mango band goes through here. Orange goes through here. Just gonna use your judgment here. Try to make it neat, nice and neat. Okay, they're all through, it looks like. So I'm just going to finish zipping up the orange bands, and then I'm going to go back and do the mangoes. Alright, so orange bands. Great. And this mango band we want to also weave through now. So I'm going to go down here, pulling that through. Alright, we can grab that one. I don't like the way that looks, so I'm going to go back down this way. Grabbing the mango. Yeah. Ah, that doesn't look nice either. Grr, why? Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to hold this with my finger, and I'm just going to go down separately with the mango. So I'll have two strips. Alright, so I'm grabbing the mangoes. Oh, and then this one at the end we also want to pull through. Roar. So cute. Let's pull him through these guys here. Okay, so, once we have reached the end, we are just going to be, I'm going to hold them with my finger, and what I'm going to do is pop 
Oh, ew, that looks bad. Four. Whatever. All right, I'm going to go into the... I'm going to kind of try... This is tricky. You want to try to lift up the stomach and go into bands underneath where the stomach is. And then you want to pull... Let's do the mango band through on this side. C-clip it. And stick that underneath the stomach. Like that. And then we want to do the same thing on this side. So lifting up the stomach, going through some random bands underneath. Pulling that orange band through. Attaching a C-clip and sticking that into the stomach. And then you can kind of pop him a little bit. So we have a hopefully pretty chunky looking tiger baby. All right, and then you can stick wire through his legs so that he can pose. Okay, he's pretty cute. Oh, where's your mama? So there's the mama and baby or teenager. <laughs> it's pretty big, but he's cute. Okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you soon for the next tutorial. Teddy, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as well, and we hope to see pictures on the Facebook page. Okay, have a wonderful day, everybody. See you for the next tutorial.